Hello and welcome to Lorna Inn's Gamer Score. And welcome to Cora Pods Throwback Thursday. So, judging by the logo on the screen at the minute, I'm going to say Monopoly. What gives you that impression? Well, there we go. Yep, it's Monopoly indeed. On PS1, that said, I have played it on many different. I've played, I've played it on PC, on the Wii, on the Xbox, on everything. Yeah, I will admit I was actually thinking about the uh, the voiceover for, for this video earlier and uh, I was thinking, well, I'll sit and I'll say that it was the, the first of the uh, Monopoly games to be released. And then I remembered that it's not the first one to be released because Monopoly's been around for years and years and years and years and years as an actual board game. Uh, so I think I play too many video games. <laughs> yeah, you've forgotten real life. <laughs> yeah. So of course you've got the Monopoly, and then there's all the personalised ones you can have and where you're from, and then there's all the these are the board games. I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then there's the franchises, um, you know, with all the characters, and you can have different types, and you can have cheat levels and electric modes and shorter modes and travel mode. You know, you get it. Yeah. Um, it's been around forever, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So. Uh, I've actually played the version on on the PS4, and it's it's too busy now. They've, uh, they've tried to update it and keep it fresh and cool, um, but it. I mean, you you just can't beat the good old fashioned board, and uh, yeah. Well, playing this one, I felt it was a little bit too simple. Yeah, I think... <clears throat> but it is old. Yeah, I think with um, with games like this especially, they're a lot better if played multiplayer. And there's a couple of you playing. Um, Anything over two, I think, is better. Yeah, but so... But not... So you can scream at each other yeah. while, you're, while you're playing it and then ruin friendship. It's basically the old version of um, Mario Party. <laughs> yeah, you you you, Ruined lives. you could be friends with somebody for years. Or Uno. Uh, maybe not. You so. throw a plus four card down as well. That's it. All right, fair enough. Okay, maybe you, you're right there. But yeah, you you could have been friends with somebody for years and years and years. And if you play Mario Party with them, that's it. That's that. That's your friendship over. Yeah. Uh, that said, um. Looking at this, when you land in a house to buy it, or actually when you land in a house at all, it comes up with an animation. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen these animations before. I think these kind of ones. I think it's off the Wii. So I don't know if it's just been updated. Yeah, I think that they I definitely had... remember them from one of the games. I think they did have similar animations um, in the in the Wii version. I couldn't tell you for certain without actually They are the same animations. Looking into it. Yeah, um, the... Anyway, there's not much you can say about Monopoly, really. Like, I've just gone to jail there. The, there's not, no. I mean, we could kind of ramble on for a while about... Um, about it and about all the different types of Monopoly that you can get these days and things like that, but... Is it closed? Yeah. But fact of the matter is, it's Monopoly, pure and simple. Everybody knows the rules to Monopoly. Well, not everybody, because there's so many different rules for Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody knows the ev basis ev of Monopoly. Everybody has their own house rules. <laughs> do uh, you do the one where you put the, cor the money in the corner in the free parking? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, well, I personally don't do that no. one. About 400 when you land on go. Oh yeah, yeah, you always get double when you land on no, go. Oh, this one you don't. Oh, what a joke. I did land on go at one point, didn't get a thing. Well, got me 200. Fair enough. Um, so, while I have you here, I have a couple of questions for you. Oh no, question... you didn't warn me about these. Ha! <laughs> um, question number one, and I think I already know the answer, but why didn't you invite me to play with you? You've gone out. Oh. Well... <laughs> there's an easier answer for you. Well, to be honest, I thought it was just a case of you didn't want me to, like, thrash you into the ground because... It's Monopoly. You know, Nobody that's... thrashes anybody. No, you see, you say that, and yet, for some reason, I always win. 
It's Monopoly. You get through the first thing, it takes too long, and everybody stops playing. <laughs> Nobody has ever won a Monopoly. It doesn't exist. It's like badgers. They don't exist. Oh, don't start with that again. Um, so, <clears throat> the second question that I have for you is quite a simple one. What have you got coming up next week, or haven't you decided yet? I haven't decided, because the ones that I want to do are the ones that... On, <laughs> we're struggling with technical issues on them. Well, I've got Frogger 2 and Croc, both of which I really, really want to show people. Yeah. And bring back because I love. I've never played Frogger before, but they just don't seem. We're having a lot of technical issues on them. Yeah, that yeah. I, I think we might need to up, upgrade our recording equipment or double check the wires, I think, on that one. But I'm definitely going to keep trying. Yeah. I really want to show the people those two or at least bring them back fair enough um so an another thing that we're hoping to bring to the channel soon is we're going to start doing some uh multiplayer games at some point um which uh will probably be on the um playstation so some some newer games which i'm quite looking forward to doing because I've got some interesting ideas on where to take those. Uh, so that'll be, be myself and Coropod. Um, and possibly some other people if I can get them involved as well and get a few more few more voices onto the channel. Um, but we'll have to see how that one goes. Uh, Anybody in mind? Well, I've got a couple of people that have expressed an interest on, in, in helping out with a few things. Um, so we'll oh. just wait and see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so I think as we said about five minutes ago and then still managed to carry on talking about Monopoly and other things, um, there's not really much else we can say about this. I have just thought something else. Oh, go on then. There is a game that we'll be playing very soon and it's coming out on PS4. Spyro. Oh! I'll be playing Spyro, the original Spyro. All oh, right. Well, will you, here's the big question. No, don't ask me questions because I've I, never I, played it before. You've never played? Ah, of course, you were a croc. Croc? You were croc. But since Spyro's coming out, I've got to try it. Well, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, one, one thing that uh, I've always been told is... Well, not always been told. I've I've heard somebody reference recently is when you grow up, you e either play Spyro or you play Croc. Croc. You were one or the other. I was very fortunate, and I actually got to play both. Um, I've never played Spyro. Uh, but uh, Spyro was always always uh, a big part of my childhood. Uh, so much, in, in fact, that it followed me into uh, my teenage years and then into adulthood. Uh, with my old gamer tag uh, that I used to use, which was Pyro the Dragon. Um, <laughs> Spyro. Yeah. But there is one thing that, uh, that concerns me about Spyro the Dragon, and that's what happens when he uses his initials. The people just get a bit worried about him. That took me longer than <laughs> I thought to work that out. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, the big question is... The Spyro the Dragon Remastered Trilogy. Will you be playing them in their original graphics with the original music? Or will you be playing them... I think you can play them in their original graphics. I can't remember that. Uh, or will you be playing them in the remastered HD version with the new music? This means nothing to me. I'm going to put the game in the machine, <laughs> play it, and press record. Okay. I don't know what you're asking me. Fair enough. <laughs> Essentially, I, I was just asking, are you going to go with the old-fashioned, um, the the the, uh, the old-school soundtrack, uh, which was... Um... Laudering, I repeat, I'm going to put it in the machine, press play and press record. All right, okay. Well, you, You're asking too much of me. We're coming up to the end of this video now, so we'll start to wrap up. But first... <laughs> <laughs> the producer of the music of the original Spyro games right. uh, was, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, but he was the drummer for the police. 
that is in the band, the police, not the police force. Is that the Sting one? Yes. The Sting yeah. band, yeah. Uh, the, the band formerly known as the police. Oh no, that's Prince, isn't it? Never mind then. Yeah, you're going to wrap this up, weren't yeah. you? Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to us ramble on for Far a while. Far too long. <laughs> a while. Um, so if you did enjoy it, then please do like, share and subscribe. Um, we love to keep you entertained, even if it is for 10, 15 minutes at, at a time. Of dribble. Dri yeah. Of dribble. Of dribble. <laughs> Probably right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... I think, to be quite honest, we're probably going to cut this video short anyway because there's not really much else to show other than a top hat wandering around a board followed by a dog. Um, so, yes, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye!